What's up, my fans? This is Dan Series, and now in this video, I'll be going through some announcements we got for the films and Disney Plus shows from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, the other four videos I've done today are my reaction videos. My first one is the One Division, the trailer two, the first look for Falcon with the Soldier, first look, obviously, at the Loki, and our first look at the What If, well, the first animated MCU show. So. About this time of recording, now I'm not up yet, but obviously whatever time, whatever point of time you're watching it, uh, there might be up or there might be not, but all I'm saying is there will be up eventually. So, like I said, in this one, we're going to go through with some announcements they made. So, I am doing this in the... Uh, well, I've already put this in the order I'm going to put it as, so I'm going to start it with films and then shows and... So I've done it like that. So anyway, let's get into that, really. Let's get into all this. Uh, first off, before we get into it, um, there is a uh, there is like a short video actually for the Miss Marvel one, but I didn't bother doing the reaction to that one because there wasn't really much to show. I mean, there is bits they show off, like they show off her looking at a some kind of fake version of Captain Marvel's mask, um, her in the bedroom looking at the poster of Captain Marvel, uh, her looks like in the score, and then the one when she's by her father and all that. But there isn't really much, and then one on the rooftop with a friend of hers, so. Yeah, so there wasn't a loss, but I thought I'd tell you that. But any, but that will be on the um, Marvel Facebook page one, so you can look it there. So that's that done. So let's get into the um, big announcements then. What's going on? So first off, uh, we're going to talk about the um, Sang-Chi. So they released a photo, and they're saying about that the film's been wrapped. Um, but I thought it was wrapped already, but maybe it's just got wrapped yesterday. I don't know. But there's a lit, obviously there's a picture out there with a cast list, you know. Telling you who's obviously the actor or actress, and they're telling you who they're playing. So we got that. Uh, but that's on me. Uh, like I said, all this and the pictures I'll be on about, they'll be on my Facebook Marvel page one. So they'll be there. Uh, now, for this one, first off, Chris, Chris Bale. I'm sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. The actor who played Batman. Uh, now, there was t talks about long ago saying about he was casting the four Love and Thunder. Um, that. Looks like uh, now it's all come true. And now we found out who he's playing. He is going to be the main villain. And he's playing Ghoul the God Busher. Yes. The God Busher is coming to the MCU. And I've heard bits. I've, re I've looked into his origins. Like I watched a video of his origins. So to give you a quick one. Um, his whole family was all wiped out. And he was more on the. He was a beam like saying about. Oh, wish there was gods like um, you know to help us. And one day he learns, obviously, he he actually learns about this God and he blames him, saying, why did you not help me? Why do you not help people? So he goes on like a revenge mission to kill all gods, really. And at the time, he um, he bumps into Norm, the, um, well, at the time when he, obviously, that got the God Busher made his appearance in the comics. Um, we didn't know that was Norm then, but he finds a person in armor who is fighting another God, a God, and... What it is, the God Butcher takes this, um, sort of like a symbiote thing off him. Well, I believe it's a symbiote, but, uh, I heard he takes, like, the nut, the nut, the never sword, or, yeah, something like that. But obviously taking that, then he uses that to go around trying to kill gods. Well, I think he does kill gods in the comics, but obviously he, he's, like, one of Thor's villains. So there's that news, and pretty cool. So I'm hoping maybe they'll bring up symbiotes in this, but, who knows, maybe they won't, or they might, I don't know. Um, next one... It's about Captain Marvel 2. They released a logo for that. And it's just called Captain Marvel 2. Who knows? They might change it later on. Because I thought they were stopping with the uh, numbers thing. Well, what am I saying? I mean, Guardians has got volume 2. So. <laughs> but I thought they gave it like a finger name. But it doesn't really matter. Only they brought up is the um, saying about... Obviously, uh, Brie Larson's coming back as a character. And we also got confirmed saying that Miss Marvel... Yes, you heard me. Miss Marvel from her own show... And the adult version of Spectre will make an appearance in the film. So, oh, that's going to be pretty cool. And I had a funny feeling that, you know, the, you know that Miss Marvel would have an appearance in this. So that's pretty cool to hear. Um, oh, that's it. The third Ant-Man film. We know the name of it now. And it's called Ant-Man Wasp Quantum Mayhem. I think that's how it says. Well, I mean, the name is in, will be in down the description so you can see the name. Uh, with that, we've got some casting uh, brought up. So first off, they've recast 
Um, Cassie Lane, Stinger, well, or whatever cold name you, you, you can say, really, whatever they're going to give her when she becomes a hero. They've recast her, so the actress who played her in the last um, appearance in Endgame, looks like she ain't coming back to play the older version of her. But who they got is an actress who was in a film lately called Freaky. It's that it's like that Netflix horror film. Well, you could call it horror comedy film, like when obviously her body is swapped with the um, the main guy from Dodgeball. You know that you know that actress I wonder about. So they've got her to play the character. Um, that's interesting to see. So and, and I am really hoping Cassie Lane does suit up because I want to see that. Also, this is they managed to, this could be classed as double confirmed now. This was something I never brought up way back, so I was like, oh, no, I don't believe this one. I don't think he's the villain of the film. <coughs> Excuse me. But it seems like it is actually true. So they got this actor to play Kang the Conqueror, and the actor is... Uh, well, his name is down in the description below, but uh, I'll try to spell it out anyway. Uh, his first name is J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, and his last name is like M-A-J... Oh, yeah. Yeah, J-O-R-S. Um... Uh, I've never seen him in anything, but also Kane the Conqueror. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to see Kane the Conqueror because I've been like, oh, I want to see him in live action, but I'm surprised I'm putting him in a um, in a film like this. I thought they would save him for Avengers films, but who knows? I mean, if he survives in this film, then hopefully he becomes one of the Avengers villains, you know, like an Avenger film villain. So that be uh, hopefully they'll do that. Uh, now this next one. Uh, Short of they said about was um, for the Black Panther 2. They've said um, they're not recasting Black Panther. So all they, they're saying is it sounds like the second film is going to evolve around with characters, obviously, with obviously who's evolved with Black Panther. So, But they don't really say, like, oh, series going to take on the mantle. So that's all we could say for now. Uh, oh, the Fantastic Four. We found out it's going to be a film for the MCU and the director... Will be the director who do, who did the um, Spider Man Homecoming and Far From Home, so that's pretty cool because he did a pretty good job with Spider Man so far. So I hope he does a pretty good job with the Fantastic Four, and hopefully they can finally get redeemed, you know, for all the uh, what's happened to them. Now let's move to the TV side. So first off, we got a big one here. So for the She Hawk, Bruce Banner, Professor Hawk, will make an appearance, and also. Now, this character, this actor and the character are making a return, and it's Abomination. Yes, you heard me right. Abomination is coming back. Hallelujah. We've been waiting for so long to see this character come, you know, to make an appearance, you know, a return. And he's coming back, baby. He's coming back. And like I said, he's being played by the same actor. I mean, I know we won't really see him in it. Obviously, we'll see him in Abomination form, because, well, he's, always, he's stuck Abomination once the character... Obviously, turns to abomination. But and speaking about that, please, Marvel, give us the classic abomination look. You know, you know, just just do that. Just form an explanation saying, "Oh, the gamma radiation in him was still growing in him, and he's and he wasn't fully transformed yet. He was still going through transformation." Just fold that into the story, because if you do do that, just fold that in. Because I know people at first will be like, "Wait, how did you go from looking like that to that?" Just just, just say that. That's what I've been saying for a long time. Just say that. That's how you can explain he's got that look. So there's that one. Another one that's been announced. Nick Fury and Tavos, obviously the scroll from Captain Marvel, the both of them will make a return in their own show, Secret Invasion. No, you haven't heard, you haven't heard, you haven't misheard me. I said it. Secret Invasion is happening and it's happening as a TV show. Pretty amazed them doing that. I thought it'd be, I thought that'd be like an Avengers film or like a thingy film, you know, because of the scrolls. But looks like I'm doing that. And but that as well, they don't really say if it's going to be like the same sort of story like the comics, like oh, the scro evil scrolls, you know, evade Earth and take people's identities. But I'd say it'd be that. Uh, now for another show, they announced uh, they announced Iron Hard. Yes, Iron Hard is happening, and the actress they got for that is. Um, Someone I've never heard of, but I'll spell it out anyway. D O M I N I Q U E. Then the last name is T H O R N E. No one I've never heard of, but the name, well, obviously the name is down in the description anyway. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what that show's like, but they haven't given out what's happening in that, so pretty cool. 
And they said about, and I heard this will direct, will actually lead to secret invasion. So that'll be interesting to see. Another one, War Machine will get his own show, but it's not called War Machine. It's called Armor Wars. So pretty amazing to see what's going to happen there. Um, now, all I've uh, looked when someone, when the thing was posted, it says about it's based on the story when. Um, I when people steal Iron Man's technology, and obviously it looks like there's a war going on with that. So I don't know what the uh, what the changes would be from the comics to this. So uh, I'd say there might be some little difference, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now we got news. Now this is the biggest news: James Gunn is coming back to write and direct, and get this: the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. No joke, a holiday special Guardians thing. No, that is going to be cool. And he also says he's coming to Disney Plus in 2022. So it sounds like we're getting this before Guardians 3. So we could call this as a 2.5, you know. But, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I want it. That is actually going to be something, excuse me, amazed to see. Eating the Guardians around Christmas time. Oh, that's going to be pretty cool. And I'm hearing it's going to be as a film. Well, I mean, it's a special. So it'll be like a fil film sort of, you know, when you get like these Christmas specials. They always do, well, the time limit of, this, of the thing is, it's like on long, like a film kind of long time, but that's what it sounds like. And last but not least, Baby Groot. Yes, it says here that Baby Groot will star in I Am Groot, and it's going to be a Disney Plus short series. Imagine like the, what they did with their um, Toy Story 4 characters, Spoon, Spoon, Forky, you know, <coughs> oh, excuse me, when they did that. Forky has a question, and they were like swords. And looks like Groot's having that. And it's the only thing we got from it. It says it will feature several new and unsure. I think I'll, I'll try to spell that. U N U S U A L characters. So, so that sounds interesting. And we're gonna get shorts of Baby Groot. From the sounds of it, this this sounds like this will take pl the timeline will take place maybe from the end of Guardians to the um, that cutscene regarding Guardians with him as teenage Groot. I will say maybe that's where the timeline of that takes place. The release date for that, we don't know. Uh, but for the others, like She-Hulk, no release date yet. Not one for Fantastic Four film, no release date. Secret Invasion, same as well. Ironheart and Armor Wars, they ain't got release dates. And also that I Am Groot ain't got a release date as well. But like I said, the um, holiday special, The Guardians, 2022 is coming. So I'd say maybe it'll be November, December time will be coming. So it'll be pretty amazing. Now the logos they showed off for the stuff, they look pretty amazing. You know, I like them all. Um, they're all in the um, I mean Marvel face page anyway, like I said, so you can have a look. And I've also done some photo, do, done some cre I created like photos of the of the actor or actress by side of the comic book look, so you can so you can have a look and. Just in case you've never seen what the comic book character looks like in their alter in their superhero or villain uh, alter ego, well, you're welcome. I've got that for you, and also the Fantastic Four logo. Well, well, it's a, it's just with the four, but it's a start for their logo, and that looks it all today, people. So, um, that's all I could say from this one, really. That's all the news. So you know, got so we like. Uh, Cool, the God Busher, you know, that's a big news. Kane the Conqueror, big as well. Abomination, yeah. Oh, and the other stuff, all big news. So, yeah, if you want to see uh, the photos, like I said, they'll be down in the description below. Well, down in the description below, you know, I'll be, be um, linked to the uh, Marvel Facebook page. Um, full comments down below, like, what do you think of all this news, you know? Uh, also, for the other videos, like the reaction videos, what did you think of those reaction videos? Do you think they look cool? Do you think they show too much or less? And what you, what's your um, hope on the shows or, you know, what's going to happen? Put them down in the comments below on those videos, you know. Uh, obviously, make sure it's the one uh, you're going to talk about. Like, for example, like if you're saying something from the WandaVision, put it on the WandaVision, uh, vi obviously, um, video. So, so I know that uh, he's talking about. So I know it's coming from that. Also, um, give these videos a thumbs up. Um, share this out to your fans so they want to see someone different on new, you know, a different YouTuber. So one of my videos, and if they like it, they can subscribe to my channel. If you are new to the channel, this is what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the trailers, Super Bowl, TV spots. Well, 
well, I could say clips, but I don't really do. Oh, I think I'm just really giving up on clips, really. And then, uh, and then spoiler reviews, really. Said I might do it for the Disney Plus ones, but oh, I might not, but I don't know. I don't know. I might do. And I don't really touch upon the spoilery ones, or so like spoiler trailer ones, or the clips and the, you know, TV spots. I don't touch on those. Um, what else do I, what else have I had to bring up on that? Uh, um, not really, oh no, there's nothing else, but, uh, oh, I just want to say, I, I forgot to say in the beginning of, for me, one division one, I believe. Oh no, I think I have sort of said it, but I'll, I'll say it again anyway, if I haven't. Um, all this info has come from the Disney, um, investors call. Yeah, so that's where it's all come today. There was also ones with Star Wars, but like, I, yeah, I do remember actually bringing that up there, but it's a reminder, I thought to refresh you on that one. But, no, I think that's all. Only for the last one uh, now. You will see me last time, more video. It'll be the What If One. Click here. My channel. Make sure you click the bell. It's going to be notified when new videos are up. And. Oh, here. here. <laughs> Sorry, so I don't think I was putting there. And here to see me last Transformers video. So, that's all I got today for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this um, news video. And I hope you did enjoy those reaction videos for those four shows. You know, on Disney Plus. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.